Hi everybody, welcome to Just Be Yoga. I am Valerie. So we're gonna begin today's practice on our backs. So go ahead and slowly make your way there. And then once you are on your back, go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees come out wide like butterflies. Coming into our Supta Baddha Konasana. And then let the arms come to a cactus. So similar to goal post arms. And then just go ahead and close off the eyes. And begin to settle yourself in here. Now you don't have to do anything here besides just breathe. The body is already doing what it needs to do. It's already starting to open up. Now we can do focus on your breath. Noticing if the breath is up high in the chest or if it's in the belly. Noticing if it is a labored breath or if it's smooth and even. And then just begin to even out the breath. Nice, even, smooth, the deep breaths in and out through the nose. And then just observe the breath for a little bit. Begin to feel the rise and fall of the abdomen, the expanding of the back body, the expansion of the ribs. And throughout today's practice, you will be breathing in and out through the nose. And if you would like to practice Ujjayi Pranayama, which is a specific type of breath work, it's inhaling in through the nose and then it's an audible exhale throughout the nose with a slight constriction throughout the back of the throat. So similar to a Darth Vader noise or if you were fogging up a mirror. Good, let's take a few more rounds of breath here. And if intention setting is in your practice, you are more than welcome to go ahead and set an intention here. Good, then gently flutter the eyes open, letting light come into the eyes. And then take the hands to the backs of the knees. Go ahead and fold the knees in together. And then take the hands to the shins and draw the knees in towards the chest. And just begin to take side to side rocks. Maybe you decide to create circles with the knees. Just low, massaging out that low back. Working into all those sweet spots. Good, then hug the knees into the chest, and then go ahead and gently roll yourself off to either the left or to the right, coming into a fetal position, and then gently push yourself up to a nice, comfortable, seated, cross-legged position. Coming into our seated twist, on the inhale, let's lift the arms up overhead, and then exhale, hands down through heart center. Good, now inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, twist to your right. Right hand comes to the left knee, left hand comes behind. Inhale, find your length here, and then exhale, twist. With every inhale, find length. With every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good, then inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, twist off to your left. Left hand comes to right knee. And then back, right hand comes behind, and then inhale, arms right, and then inhale, grow tall. Good, inhale, arms rise, and then exhale, hands down through heart center. Good, making our way onto our hands and to our knees, coming into a tabletop position. Go ahead and stack the hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrist, spread wide through the fingers. 
and then extend that left leg out long, lift the toes up off the ground, and then when you're ready, extend that right arm off the ground. Really push up and out throughout the left hand. Good. And you're kicking through that back left foot and you're reaching with that right hand. Drawing in through the belly, coming into our first dynamic balancing pose here. Beginning to create heat. Good. One more big breath. Stretch it out. Lift it up. And then exhale, hand, knee, foot to the earth. Then right leg extends out long, lift the toes off the ground, flex the foot. And then when you're ready, reach that left arm out long. And then once again, draw into the belly. Keep the gaze nice and soft, right below the eyes. Good. Reaching here and pushing back with that right foot. Good. Big breath in here. Reach it out. Lift it up. And then exhale. Hand, knee, and foot to the earth. Preparing for cat cow now. On the inhale, nice and slow. Drop the belly. Open the heart. Open up the collarbones. Lift the gaze. Lift the tail. And then exhale. Push the earth away. Around to the back. Tuck the chin. Tuck the tailbone. And then inhale. Drop the belly. And then exhale, push the earth away. Breathe in, drop the belly, cow pose. And then exhale, push the earth away, cat pose. Good, one more round. Inhale, drop the belly. Open the heart. And then exhale, push the earth away. And then inhale, come back through neutral. And then we're going to walk the hands out long, coming into puppy pose, anahata. Now coming into this pose, if you have really tight shoulders, you can take the arms nice and wide as the mat. The chin or even the forehead may come down to the mat. But it doesn't have to. Just let the shoulders open up here. Breathe deeply, sending the breath into any areas that might Need a little extra love today. Good. One more breath. Exhale it out. And then go ahead and come back on to all fours, gently walking the hands back. Then spreading wide through the fingers, press into the palms, tuck the toes, lift the hips, coming into downward facing dog. Good. Begin to pedal out through the feet here. Feet are hips width distance apart. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Really lift those sit bones up towards the sky and create a nice long spine throughout the crown all the way to the tailbone. Good. Then find stillness here for a few rounds of breath, drawing the heels down towards the mat, lifting the sit bones, pressing the backs of the legs towards the back of the room. Draw in through the belly. Good. Inhale here. Bend the knees and then exhale. Slowly tiptoe your way towards the top of your mat. Now inhale here. Halfway lift. Bring the hands to the shins just below the knees and really draw out through the crown, finding that length throughout the spine. Feet are about hips width distance here if that's comfortable for you. Good, and then exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Good, two more times, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift, draw out through the crown, nice long spine, flat back. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find that length. And then exhale, fold. Good, taking the feet hips width distance apart if they are not already. Really bending to the knees here, bring the torso to the thighs, and then go ahead and let the head hang heavy, clasp opposite elbows here, coming into our rag doll. Begin to wave yourself back and forth. Just let the head hang heavy here, creating traction throughout the spine and the neck. If it feels better to let the hands dangle, you can let the hands dangle here.
Good, then go ahead and find stillness here. And just let the body hang, let the shoulders come away from the ears. And if you begin to straighten the legs, if the torso can come to the thighs, just be mindful. Good, then let the hands drop to the floor. Place the hands onto the floor. Bend the knees as much as you need to place both hands and both feet onto the mat. And then when you're ready, bring the hands to the hips. And then inhale with the flat back, rise up, arms come up overhead. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. Good, circle the arms up, inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. One more time, inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. Coming into that Anjali Mudra, bring the backs of the thumbs to the sternum. Close off the eyes here, root down through the feet. And just take a moment here to begin to feel the energy moving through the body. Good, flutter the eyes open, inhale, arms rise up overhead. Exhale, hands down through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, here, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms come up overhead. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. Two more rounds of our half sun salutation A. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, take it down the midline, forward fold. And then inhale here, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice and slow, arms circle up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. One more, guys. Inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, hands down through heart center, forward fold. And then inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. And then inhale, arms rise up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. And then exhale, hands down through heart center. Go ahead and drop the palms alongside the body, coming into our mountain pose, Tadasana. That little flow that we did there is called a Hasta Vinyasa. Anything that you've done with just your hands and moving that energy, that is considered Hasta Vinyasa. Beautiful. Good. Now inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale here, halfway lift. Now exhale, step that right foot back. Go ahead and drop onto the knee of the right foot. Untuck the toes. And then inhale, arms rise up, low lunge. Take a moment here, find your foundation. Send that right hip forward, left hip back. And then grow tall through the arms. Grow long through the side body. Good, breathe here. Creating a moving meditation here with your practice today. Let the yoga come to you and let the yoga do you. Don't, don't necessarily think that you need to do the yoga and you need to be these poses. Just let it come natural. Good. Big breath in here. And then exhale. Go ahead and plant the palm. Plant that right palm onto the earth and then inhale. Lift the left arm up towards the sky. Easy twist. And then exhale, draw that right palm, left palm down to the floor. Go ahead and tuck the toes of the right foot. And then step back, plank pose. Good. Coming into our plank pose here, bring the feet together really firm to the quadriceps. Draw up and in with the belly. Create a slight cat body here. Gaze is at the top of your mat. We're here for three. Breathe it out. Two. Nice big inhales and exhales. One, and then hug the elbows in, slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Untuck the toes, draw the shoulders down, plant all ten toenails into the mat, and then on the inhale, slowly lift up, baby cobra. And then exhale, lower down. Two more, just like that. Inhale, rise up, waking up the back body. And then exhale, lower. Good, one more, just like that. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, push back. 
downward facing dog. Good, take a few rounds of breath here. Really stretch back with your dog. Keep a slight bend in the knees if you need to find the most amount of length throughout the back body. Good, take a big breath in on the inhale, bend the knees and then exhale, slowly make your way towards the top of your mat. Inhale here, halfway lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms come up overhead, and then exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead, gaze to follow. Exhale, draw all the way down through the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, and then exhale, step the left foot back, come out to the left knee, untuck the left toes, and then on the inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana, low lunge, keeping that right knee stacked over the left, sorry, keeping that right knee stacked over your right ankle, my left and my rights are off today, and then send that left hip forward, right hip back. Grow tall throughout the side body, drop those shoulders away, breathe here. With every inhale, find some length and then exhale, settle in a little bit deeper. Really opening up through that left hip flexor. Good, breathe in here and then exhale, plant the palms to the earth, plant the left palm into the earth and then inhale, lift the right arm up towards the sky, easy twist. And then exhale, plant the right palm, tuck the left toes and lift the left knee, step the right foot back, coming into our plank pose. You've been here before. And bring the big toes to touch from up to the quadriceps. Find that nice, firm, sturdy plank pose. Good, breathe here for three. Let's hear that breath for two. And then one, lower all the way down, hug the elbows in. Slowly, slowly untuck the toes, draw the elbows back, hug them in towards the ribs. And then on the inhale, we've been here before, lift up baby cobra. Exhale, lower down, two more. Inhale, rise up cobra. And then exhale, lower down. Now inhale, rise up cobra and hold here for two rounds of breath. See if you can hover the hands off the mat here, draw in through the belly. We're here for two, one, and then go ahead and plant the palms, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Rooting down through that left foot, inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky, and then exhale, plant the right foot in between the palms. Spin that back heel down, come in to the pinky edge side, and then come up into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Front heel back, biceps back, inner arch, 90 degree angle into that right knee. Shoulders stacking over hips, wrists over ankles, and then find that fierce gaze over the right fingertips. Good, breathe here, and then inhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down. All 10 toes, all 10 fingers face the top of your mat. Plant the left palm to the earth. Inhale, lift the right arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, plant that right palm. Step that left foot back, right foot back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. And then exhale, plant the left foot in between the palms. Spin onto the pinky edge side of the right foot, and then open up to warrior two, the Virabhadrasana two. Once again, find your foundation, open up that left leg so it's tracking over the middle and third toe. Find that gaze over the left fingertips and breathe here. Nice, super strong back right leg. Good, and then inhale, flip the left palm, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down, all 10 toes, all 10 fingers, face the top of your mat, runner's lunge. Plant the right palm into the mat. And then inhale, lift the left hand up towards the sky. And then exhale, plant the left palm. Step back, 
plank pose. And then slowly lower all the way down on the exhale. Untuck the toes, hug the elbows in. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Good, a few rounds of breath here. Begin to smooth and even out the breath. Good, the power of three here, our last three breaths here. Let's take together, big inhale in through the nose. Exhale it out to the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale it out to the mouth. Last one, big breath in. Open it up. Good, now walk the hands towards the feet at the back of the mat. Go ahead and gently bend into the knees. Take your peace finger and middle finger, hook them underneath that big toe. And then take the thumb, wrap them around. Inhale here, find length, nice flat back. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Elbows go out left to right, let the head hang heavy. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, lift up through the sit bones. And most importantly, keep breathing here. Good, inhale, find length, nice flat back, halfway lift. Go ahead and take the hands away from the toes and then slowly walk yourself back out into a downward facing dog. On the inhale, lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, plant the foot in between the palms, spin that back left foot down, open up warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down, coming into our runner's lunge. Plant the left palm and then inhale, right arm lifts, easy twist. And then exhale, plant the right palm. Step the right foot back, coming into your plank pose. Lower all the way down, hug the elbows into the floor, untuck the toes. And then inhale, rise up, cobra. And then exhale, tuck the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, plant the left foot in between the palms. Spin that back right foot down. Open up, warrior two. Good, flip the left palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down, coming into your runner's lunge. Plant the right palm into the earth. And then inhale, lift the left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, plant the left palm. Step the left foot back. And then slowly hugging the elbows in, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, draw the elbows in and down. Inhale, lift up cobra. And then exhale, push back, child's pose. Good, taking the knees about as wide as the mat, big toes to touch. Draw the hands and the arms out long. Let the head come in between the arms. Let the heart melt towards the, towards the mat. And just breathe here. Good. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up to a tabletop position. And then from here, we're going to step our right foot in between our palms, coming into our low lunge once again. Now, option is just to stay here. Option two, you can lift the left foot off the ground, coming onto the knee of the left leg. Then you're going to plant the left palm, option three, and then reach back 
and take the foot with the right hand. Coming into our quad stretch here, if you need to sit the hips back more so you're not projecting forward as much, option to do so as well. Good, open up through the right chest here, breathe. Good, one more big breath in, and then exhale, slowly bring it all the way back. And then step that right foot back to meet the left, and then step the left foot in between the palms. Once again, if this feels good for you today, option just to stay here in our low lunge. Option two, lift that right leg off the ground. Option three, plant the right palm into the earth, and then reach back, open up with the left hand, and then draw that right heel towards the right buttocks, and then begin to come into that quadricep, um, quadricep stretch on the right side. Inhale, open up the left chest. Here's just a little bit more. Gaze goes up over the heart. Good, one more big in breath. And then on the exhale, slowly release everything back down to the ground. And then step that left leg back to meet the right. And then go ahead and sit the hips back towards the heels. And scooch off to your left or to your right side. Bring the legs out long in front. And then place the hands beside the hips coming into our Dandasana pose. Slightly tuck the chin, flex the toes back towards the knees. And then gently push the hands into the mat. Open up through the heart here. Root down to the sit bones. Good. Then inhale, arms rise up overhead. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, coming into our Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. If you need to begin to bend into the knees, you can do so if you've got a tight low back or tight hamstrings. Always a good idea to keep the feet about hips width distance apart and then bend into the knees. And then just take the hands to the outer edges of the feet, the toes, or even if they just come alongside the legs. But wherever you're at, begin to let yourself surrender into this pose. With every inhale, find length, lead with the heart. And then exhale, begin to hinge and forward fold. And then once again, coming back to your breath here in our seated forward fold, really being able to hear your breath. Let it be audible. And take a moment for gratitude and thank yourself that you are able to, and thank the body that you're able to have this beautiful breath. Good, big breath in, look forward. And then exhale, begin to sit back. Go ahead and plant the feet onto the mat. Sit the hips towards the heels. And then draw the arms out long. And then slowly begin to come onto the back body. And then take the hands to the shins, draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Give yourself a hug. Good. And then go ahead and plant the feet onto the floor, about hips width distance apart. Draw the heels in towards the hips, and then take the hands alongside the body, palms face down. Coming into our bridge pose, on the inhale, press into the heels, lift the hips, lift the low back, lift the mid back, slightly coming onto the outer edges of the shoulders, and then keeping the chin gently away from the chest. Breathe here. Drawing the tailbone towards the backs of the knees and then pressing into the heels. Good, and then slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. And then just begin to windshield wiper the legs from left to right, releasing the low back, any tension that might be there. Good, then come back through center. 
Set yourself up for bridge pose once again. Keeping the hands alongside the body. On the inhale, lift the hips, low back, mid back. And then keeping the hands alongside the body this time, or if you would like to take the hands and interlace them underneath the back body, and then draw the knuckles down towards the heels, and then come onto the outer edges of the shoulders. And then begin to press into the forearms and, and the hands. And then begin to really lift yourself up towards the ceiling. If you're feeling any pinching for whatever reason in the back body, low back, just ease off of it just a little bit. Good, breathe here. Good. Big breath in here, and then exhale. If you took the bind, release the fingers and slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. This time, take the hands to the shins, draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a quick rock from left to right, and then hug that right knee in towards the chest. Let the left leg go out long. Let the heel come in contact with the mat, and then take the right hand out to a T. And then draw that right leg across towards the left. Gaze can go towards the right hand. Coming into our supine twist. Let that shoulder blade melt into the mat. Most importantly, breathe here. Just take a minute and notice if you are still gripping or holding any tension anywhere. Breathe into that and really let it go. Let the pose come to you. Don't try and force a pose. Because when we try to force poses, we're really losing the actual benefit that the pose itself has. When you just let it come to you naturally, and that's when you will reap all of its glorious benefit. Good, come back through center. Hug that right knee in towards the chest. And then extend the right leg out long. Hug the left knee in towards the chest. Take the left arm out to a T and draw the left leg across towards the right. And then gaze can go towards that left hand. If the neck doesn't allow, you can always look straight up towards the ceiling or over to your right. Let the left shoulder melt into the mat. And then come back through center. Go ahead and hug both the knees in towards the chest once again. And then take the hands and run them alongside the legs coming to the pinky edge side of the feet. And then lift the feet up towards the ceiling. And then draw the knees down towards the armpits. And open the legs nice and wide coming into our happy baby pose. If it feels good today to rock your baby, go ahead and rock your baby back and forth. Opening up through the hips here. Draw your tailbone down towards the front of the mat. Good. Then come back through center. Go ahead and take the peace fingers and the thumbs, take them around the big toes again, and then open up the legs into our reclined straddle pose. Really reach throughout the heels, let the toes come down towards the knees, opening up through the inner legs, the hamstrings. Good, then draw the legs together. Go ahead and bend the knees. Give yourself the biggest hug of the day. Squeeze everything in. And then on the inhale, go ahead and lift the forehead towards the knees. And then exhale. 
slowly open it all up, coming into Shavasana, corpse pose, our final posture of today's practice. Go ahead and spread the feet out as wide as the mat. Let the palms face up. Go ahead and get out any last wiggles because you want to come into stillness here in your Shavasana. So once you're there, go ahead and gently close off the eyes. If a big inhale and exhale feels really good, go ahead and do so. Then just let yourself rest here and reap all the beautiful benefits of our practice today. Now, if you'd like to take a longer Shavasana today, you are more than welcome to just let this play out and then ride out your Shavasana for as long as you would like. For those of you that would like to get going and you know, you've got something to do for today, begin to gently awaken, awaken the body, moving the fingertips and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Just bringing life back into the physical body. Gently open the eyes. And then take the arms up overhead. Go ahead and interlace the fingers, flip the palms inside out. Bring the feet together and then reach with the hands, point the toes, finding a nice full body stretch. And then go ahead and bend at the knees, release the hands, and then sit yourself off to the right side. Take a moment here for gratitude if you'd like to set an intention for the rest of your day, whatever is calling to you. And then pushing into that left hand, slowly drag yourself back up. Come back into that comfortable, easy seat of Sukhasana. And then a big inhale, arms rise up overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands back down through heart center, Anjali Mudra. Go ahead and close out the eyes, bow the head towards the fingertips. And then go ahead and bring the thumbs to the third eye point. The divine light and love within me truly honors the divine light and love within all of you. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you, everyone. I hope you liked today's practice. And as you can tell, I'm not perfect. My left and my rights were a little bit wonky today, but that's just the beauty of the practice. And if I were to sit here and stop it every time that I made a mistake, that's not showing my true authentic self. We all make mistakes. And when you really just ride the wave of life, that's going to happen. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe as well. And thank you once again. We'll see you next time on the mat. Bye now.